Yeah, today we're working on a castle garden lawnmower and we get down in here, uh, it's rotten. The lawnmower is basically on its last legs but it is August here at the moment. Um, it's coming near the season here and what I want to do is basically probably try and cut a piece of steel roughly. It's going to be a rough job. Tack it along, um, find the solid piece along here some road and weld her together and this will get me to the end of the season during the winter months I'll probably um, try and get a discounted mower out of season but this is my plan today I have the engine out the engine was quite easy to take out this engine only had three bolts one two three bolts and <clears throat> on the bottom of the engine see here there's only one bolt in the center for the actual blade which lets me lift the engine completely off the base. Want the engine out of the road because petrol uh, and welders do not mix. So it leaves me a lot more room to work at. So we're gonna what we're gonna do here, we're gonna get a grinder and maybe cut a little bit of this, not too much of it away, and we'll buff off the paint and we'll see where we're gonna make our little piece of we're gonna use a piece of um Body panel tin or I have an old car door and probably cut a piece out of it and weld it on because really we don't want to spend money on it, we just want to keep the job as cheap as possible to keep the lawnmower going to the end of the year. Now, I have taken the guard off the grinder, I've put on this wheel here, it's what I call a flap wheel. All little flaps of uh, 60 grit paper, this one I can get them 60, 80, 120 grit, but I'm going to use a coarse one because I want to clean this up here to leave a good finish for welding. So we'll get her started here and we'll see how we go. Now, we'll bring the camera a wee bit closer to give you a wee look to see how efficient this wheel is. Uh, it's not a grinding disc, but it will take it down to the bare metal. Now, I've given it uh, quite a bit of good sand, and the long here is pretty good here to weld. You can see where it's still dark, there's a wee bit of corrosion there, but really, we're going to uh, probably work along here, right down. You can see where this has came into the hole and we'll go past that around the edge and we'll draw a line and we'll uh, try and cut a piece of cardboard to this here and then that'll use it as a template. Right okay I have my cardboard cut to the size I want and the reason for doing the cardboard it's easier to cut a cardboard two or three times with a pair of scissors than starting to mess around and cut a piece of tin. Um, cut the tin once, measure cardboard, set it down on the tin and we will draw around the tin and cut our shape out to size. Um, piece of car door, um, hopefully I'll get enough out of this to do me and uh, we'll cut this out and we'll set it up on the lawnmower and then we'll see how we go from there. I have a piece of body tin now cut and roughly in place I'll probably have to keep pressing down a little as I weld along the edge but we'll get the welder going here um, may have to trim a little bit here I'm not sure but I'm going to weld it here right around the inner edge and then we'll get a hammer and we'll bend it down over the edge of the lawnmower and then we'll see what it looks like then but we get a welder here and we'll see how we go right I have given the first tack there now stop start stop start stop start you keep welding constant you're going to blow a hole uh, over to the welder Sealy Super Mega 180 I have set in the power 3 and uh, wire th speed is slightly less than 4 and I'm using 0.6 millimeter 
Maguire. So, um, we'll give it a few more tacks right around and then we'll get her ready for uh, bending this lip down over the edge. Now we're taking a small hammer and we're just tapping it down, just keep working our way around. And I'll just try and clamp it down a little and then we'll put a few tacks along the edge right around to here and that should leave this job near enough complete. Have the patch welded finished. Um, it's not a perfect weld by no means, but it has really uh, improved the lawnmower. It's going to get me to the end of the season. Um, rusty metal, no matter how well you cleaned it, is quite difficult to weld. But places is good, a few places here and there, a uh, few imperfections. But I'm happy enough with the job. Gets me to the end of the season. Going to give it a wee uh, dab of probably red hammerite paint or black, whatever I have in the shed here. Um, I'll get the engine in and that's me ready to go. Now if you like the video give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you want to see a few more of my DIY jobs in the future. But in the meantime, take care. Bye bye. Adios.